I'm excited to work with you through this solo lesson today. I wish someone would have showed me early on these steps because they really connect the chords and the scales you're using. Let's break down how a pro builds a guitar solo. All right, we're gonna look at this in four steps. Uh, a professional player is gonna work through these steps almost instantly. We're gonna take a few minutes and it's so well worth it. So step one is identifying the chords and what key they're in. So let's take a simple groove here. A, G, D, back to A. So that's a simple blues rock groove. I chose this just because it's a you know, medium tempo where we can work through some of these solo ideas. But it starts on A, and you, so you think, oh, this is in the key of A. It is not, it's actually in the key of D major. Now how we know that is working through the major scale. So D, D major scale, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth degree is an A chord. One, two, three, four, G chord. And then of course the root note is, is one here. So this, this progression is actually a five, four, one in the key of D major. So now that we know what chords we're working with, we know what key the chords are in, the next step is uh, working through a few scales that will fit with this set of chords. So we already talked about the D major scale works really well over this. All the notes fit. You are actually playing the Mixolydian mode when you play the D major scale over this. This is not a, a lesson about modes, but it's so important to know that. Also, the A major pentatonic works really well over this. So let's listen how that sounds. sound really good too. What about the A minor pentatonic scale? All of those scales sound completely different but they all work over those three chords. But stay with me because at the end of this video I'm going to do a demo solo with all the concepts we're talking about right now. All right, so we know the chords, we know what key the chords are in, and we know some scales that will work over those chords. A big thing in step three coming up is knowing the notes in the chords you're using. So important to play with a sense of melody. The notes in the A chord are A, C sharp, E, the G chord, G, B, D, and the notes in the D chord are D, F sharp, and A. Now these notes are all up and down the fretboard. We're just gonna stay in this little area of the neck today for just some structure here. But so let's, let's look at that. So just using the notes of the chords, how does that sound? fit because they're in the chord. But it, with all the other scales and even adding this information in there, it sounds pretty boring. So we've assembled a lot of information here. Stay with me because this is so important. We know the chords A, G, and D and they're in the key of D. So we can use that D major scale, the A major pentatonic, A minor pentatonic.
and also we now we know the notes and the chords. This is such valuable information to improvise a solo, what we've already gathered. Now step four is the key to lock all this together. Again, we need to create a sense of melody through the through there with some phrases. We don't want to just, you know, play uh, just simple. We don't want to play every note in every scale. We're just going to take the information that we already gotten and try to make some music with it. So just right there, we've started grouping together a, a, some sets of notes, really looking at the notes in the chords as they go by. And again, this is not an easy thing to do, but you need to know what chord you're playing over as you're soloing. And a great way to do this is just taking the third of every chord you're using. So the A chord, the third of the A chord is a C sharp note. The third of the, the G chord is a B note. And then the third of the, the D chord is an F sharp. So we're really going to target, with these other scales, we're going to target the C sharp note, the B, and the F sharp. Such a great tool right there to sound like you have a sense of melody and really you know, sound like you're playing melodically. Right there, yeah. looking at those chords as they go by just targeting a few notes and that major third is a great one to use and also the root notes in the chords but just following these simple steps we can create a really melodic solo very easily and again we can use this D major scale and really play linear up and down the fretboard is a great way to do it major scale I was just just playing it note you know one note at a time on one string and you could walk right down these strings walk up and walk down or or, or and really just walk right up So we have so much information we just got with those three chords and it's easy to give your solo some structure but still let loose on these pentatonic licks also. So let's put all of this information together and create a solo.
taking time to gather all this information is so important and believe me early on I did not do this and it really hurt me later on in my playing because I was really locked into just playing a pentatonic scale and just hoping I hit a good note but planning this stuff out and it just takes a few minutes to really you know be confident in the notes you're playing and you'll have so much more fun with this instrument I guarantee it thanks for hanging out with me today hopefully you got something from the lesson and we'll see you on the next one.